Hello and welcome to the Terrible Terror Podcast mini-review. As this is the first in the line of mini-reviews that I plan to do, I'm expecting this one to be just a little rough. Hopefully this will be a nice little companion piece to the longer podcast reviews that I normally do, focusing on more recent releases, or movies I feel don't need the, such a long review due to either content, quality, or just the fact that it doesn't really fit the mold. Also, it's in video form. For this mini, I'm going to talk about the 2015 animated film Hell and Back, starring many of my favorite comedians including T.J. Miller, Nick Swartzen, Rob Riggle, Mila Kunis, Paul F. Tompkins, Brian Posehn, and Bob Odenkirk, just to name a few. Now, though this is an animated film, it's a very adult film. It's rated R for a reason. The story follows three friends, Remy, Augie, and Kirk, who work at a local seaside carnival. The big attraction there is the Gates of Hell ride that seemingly breaks down on the regular along with many of their other attractions. The park is losing money and has recently been foreclosed by the bank. This place can't survive forever without customers. No customers, no money. No money, no park. No park, no park. No park, no park. What are you, a valet at P.F. Chang? You do know that you just repeated yourself, right? Or did you get pummeled with so many leather dildos at a Judas Priest concert that you have no idea what you're saying right now? Listen, it would be an honor to be fucked by Judas Priest. You don't know shit about dick or rock or roll. Remy, played by Swartzen, visits the local gypsy, Madame Zonar, to see if she can somehow use her powers to see how to save the carnival. While visiting with Madame Zonar, Remy finds a book on the floor that was given to her by the devil, and inside he notices that a picture of the devil is crying, and it gives him the idea that he could use this image to make money from the people like those that flock to Jesus sightings. In doing this, it causes conversation between Kurt, played by Riggle, to make a pact with Remy to repay him for one of his mints. Yes, I said mint. Or his soul to be damned to all eternal hellfire. Hey bro, can I get mint? No. I'm always lending you stuff, and you never pay me back. Don't bust my balls. Just give me a mint. All right, look. If you promise to hit me back, I'll give you one of my Le Petit mints. Okay. I promise to give you one back. So you currently have mints in your possession. I have a pack of mints in my pocket right now. I just happen to like Remy's flavor better. All right. Well, just swear on the book of Beelzebub. Fine. I swear. Give me your hand. Why? Blood oath. Ow! Jeez. Who does that anymore? Since at the moment he cannot repay the mint, he's sent to hell, forcing Remy and Augie, played by Miller, to go and rescue Kurt from the devil himself, played by a show-stealing Bob Odenkirk. It's when they go to hell that this movie actually opens up with its visuals. There's also a running gag with a lost soul, voiced by Paul F. Tompkins, and a demon for some reason that make me giggle quite a bit. May I take your order? I will have a uh, pepperoni pizza. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no pepperoni pizza. Oh, I'm sorry, but it does say Pizza Hut and Taco Bell, so I thought maybe I could get some uh, pizza as well. It, it says pizza and it says taco, but we only got taco. <laughs> You're being tortured. Oh, uh, all right. Order another pizza. I think I see where this is headed. Just okay. order the oh, no. damn pizza. All right, we'll have a uh, pizza with extra cheese, please. There ain't no pizza. You can have a chalupa, burrito, uh, chiro. Now, it does say Pizza yeah. Hut Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to hell. It's stupid little scenes like this that make me laugh out loud like a little schoolgirl. Well, the boys get caught and meet with the devil, who happens to slip that Orpheus, played by Danny McBride, can help them get those mortals out of hell, including Kurt. you doing here <laughs> we're just trying to save our friend kurt yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know just in and out really who do you think you are orpheus <laughs> who's orpheus <laughs> you don't know your greek mythology do you orpheus the mortal who came down to hell to rescue his wife anyone man public education no wonder the chinese are kicking our ass they've managed to escape from the devil devil and the boys meet up with a half-demon, Dima, played by Mila Kunis. And they trek off to find Orpheus. Girl. Hey, you tricked us. Yeah, that's false advertising. I know. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> but I could still kill you, because I'm half-demon. This movie slows a bit during this section of the film. But there are some funny jokes, as well as some 
really, really crude humor, especially with Dima's demon mother. And also a long scene where Dima gets sexualized quite a bit. Orpheus, when they finally meet up with him, he's not necessarily the hero that he once was, and it's not until Kurt is finally going to be sacrificed that the film picks up once again. There's a hilarious song that Orpheus sings that's one of the highlights of the film, as well as a cameo by H. John Benjamin as a tree that Orpheus once knew. Hello, devil. Huh? Care for some wine? The ending is a little anticlimactic, though, and wraps up super quick with one question that left me wondering what happened to two of the characters in the film, but not in the way that you're thinking. Overall, I think this is a really fun film that I would recommend to anyone who is a fan of the comedians in it, which, of course, I certainly am. I give this film four annoyed souls out of five. It's currently on Netflix Instant right now, so I'd give it a watch while you can. Maybe you won't laugh as much as I did, but the animation is so well done that you really shouldn't pass it up. Thank you for listening to my little mini review and watching the little clips that went by. You can always check out the podcast. It's available every other week. It's available on iTunes, Google Play, Spreaker, Stitcher, and Blueberry. If you'd like to see more of these type of mini-reviews, please leave me a comment below. Also, while you're there, hit the like button, subscribe to the page, or go check out the Twitter page. It's at T underscore T underscore podcast. Thanks for watching. Here, you want a soda pop? Oh, I wouldn't say no. (laughs) It's flat. You got flat soda. You got me. (laughs) Here, you want some Neapolitan ice cream? Oh, thank you. All right, here it is. Oh, now someone seems to have eaten all of the chocolate and vanilla. Yeah, that's right. You just had strawberry. (laughs) Uh, You should drink some of this milk. Not usually a milk drinker. Oh. It's quick. It's, yeah. It's strawberry quick. Not even chocolate quick. No, it's, it's strawberry crap. Not fun. Welcome to hell.